hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And okay, I was advised that there was something else that opened up and maybe I should look into side quests after each tier. I guess I'll do that. Uh, what was helpful information was the comment uh, from Dr. Novocaine saying that if someone has a side quest, there'll be an exclamation bubble above their head, so I don't have to just have to mindlessly talk to everyone. But I'll probably do things like searching for them off camera and that, so you don't see me just like aimlessly wandering around and everything. Orange Nutton Bolton. Why, if it isn't our first customer of the day, who could it be? Green Nut in Bolton. My oh my. But it is... Is it not Mega Man, world-renowned hero in our lovely boutique? Truly, I hope he's not looking for criminals in our establishment. I don't know why I just totally switched... Voices there. For the only crime here is our outrageous deals. Welcome one and all to a double action boutique. Don't worry about it. I was just stopping by. Boutique, huh? I'm not much of a fashion guy myself. I hear ya. Really, I wear the same clothes most of the time. Well, well, it's never too late to become a stylish individual. Let me, Balo, and my lovely wife, Nuo, guide you through our world of fashion. Okay, so Nuo is the wife. Oh dear, stop with the flattery. The only one deserving of flattery here is our lovely customer. Entering the world of fashion can be harsh at first, but your bravery shall be rewarded. Okay. I feel like some of the text from the the people and the dialogue in this game is just like a bit too wordy. I think I've said this before. But then again, can we get to the point costumes? Yeah, we're getting costumes. I'm not I want to get to a stage today. Look at all this text. Yup. Uh-huh. Sister's business is Rolling Stone, is it not? Okay. Yup. This will take so much longer if I read Look at all of this text. Come on. D dear. Oh, no, wait. That's the... D dear, you flatter me too much. I don't know if I'd call those people, but okay. Okay, we can move again. Okay, so we can buy costumes. We can custom make a costume. We have Proto Man, we have Base, we have Roll, we have Mega Man Hair, we have Rock, Break Man, Cut Man, Metal, Maestro, and. As you guys know me, I don't really care for alternate costumes. I'm just going to be playing as Mega Man. What is the... Oh, I guess this is supposed to be like a fitting room where you just get to try everything. You see how the costume looks when you're... Spinning around, spinning up and down, sliding and climbing away. Okay. So that's that. And I don't care to do anything else right now, so let's go to Tier 3. First stop in Tier 3, Brain Break. Welcome, valued guest, to the dining hall. Please sit anywhere you like and feel free to enjoy one of these fine simulations. We're in Tier 3, they're probably not going to be that fine. While you wait for your food to arrive. 
fire server. Want some soda? Open wide and say, ah. Wait. This is still filled with flammable oil. Open wide and say, ah. <laughs> uh, okay. Found a... Can't get under there. Found the next stage we got. Oh, those... Those zappy guys. Uh, not those. Those guys. Those are from Jupiter in Mega Man 5 on the Game Boy, I do believe. Or they're the ones from Mega Man 10? Oh, it's by Gary! Wait a minute. Wasn't Gary a previous judge? Didn't I fire him? The bouncy Octo... Octoboom. A uh, really high score by Parmesan and pretty low scores overall. Average score, 38.5. Okay, so nice introduction to the gimmick. Okay, so I got to blow those. Okay. I do have to wonder if there's something down that way. Uh, we're gonna check that. I'm gonna check that out right now. We're gonna get hit right now. Uh, we cannot check that out right now. I would hope that doesn't result in instant death. Can we... Oh, so those things just bounce me really high, and I don't have to be jumping on... Let's fix this, shall we? Uh, we did just get a checkpoint. Let's... Find something secret. Let's just... Bomb everything. Well, that's not what we wanted to be doing. Oh, I can go down here. There are so many alternate paths, I don't like all of these alternate paths. Though this exploding wall gimmick is interesting. Well, I found another ladder up. I found an exit. I feel like we missed, like, three quarters of that stage. Um... I don't know what else can be said here. Oh, I should have picked up this. Okay, let's try this way. No, that is not instant death. We get fun bouncy room! This is slightly a problem. Yeah, I'm not like I'm not like uh controlling the height of the bounty. Oh gosh. Oh, and those are instant death. They, they bounce me back. The bouncy physics. Alright, let's not go that way. Okay, this is a neat sort of combination. Ooh, 
little bit too much on the bouncing. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to be checking out... And bounce up above. Like, I, I cannot... Screen transitions. Now this is the big giant room. So what, all paths lead to here? I can see where people don't like this. Okay, this giant room is not fun. This giant room is not fun. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go checking out every alternate path because... This is also the final room. I'm understanding the low score. Is there... Oops. Okay, yeah, I'm done here. I found the I found the exit. Yeah, that that was not. I'm pretty mixed on this uh, level. At its best, it's a new and creative use of a gimmick that I think is underutilized. But at its worst, I think it's just frustrating. Let's start with the whole paths idea. I feel mixed on this as well. I think having different paths to put more emphasis on different ideas was really clever. It lets you explore more ideas without it being a really long mess with no focus. What does drag the level down, however, is some of the execution in these paths. The thing is, though, there's like no real point in this game to replay stages and take multiple paths. I mean, unless there's, like, I don't know, E-Tanks or something, but still, it just doesn't feel worth it. Like, why do I want to go through your stage ten times to see all the different paths this could have gone? The top path had kind of weird spacing, which made some jumps very difficult. That should not have been. It relies on you using the weird momentum that is never taught to you and you're never really forced to do to use before you're in a do or die situation. Also, it's entirely skippable with rush jet. I probably should have been using that. Uh, the bottom path it just had frustrating jumps that weren't challenging or rewarding, but just easy to mess up. Like that spike room, because you can just like even if I because I died there on the spikes when I wasn't even touching any movement controllers. I just wanted to bounce up and down, but it was still like bouncing me somewhat to the side as well. I had fun with this part. It also didn't have much enemy variety like the top path did. The middle path is wonderful and really expands on the mind gimmick. Like I haven't seen before while also mixing in the back I I swear there was like at least six different paths the bouncy tiles it does everything the other two paths want to do but better if you took a few challenges from the top and bottom paths and expanded the middle path slightly this would have been a much better and more concise level 
I know it seems like I complained a lot, but I do generally enjoy this level. The execution in several spots just could have been better. You ever feel like you are being thrown in a washing machine and then flung around against every possible wall, breaking your bones and getting dizzy? That's the stage. I don't even know where to begin. Multiple paths that are all as baffling as the next, with confusing connections. Precise jumps over spikes with the bounce blocks that were not made for precision. A giant tube of bouncy balls uh, that just throws you everywhere. And the last room, which is the most baffling thing. Good luck climbing to the top middle for the ladder without getting motion sick. Well, I didn't have the motion sick problem. No, no. I was, I was already... That's not a review. The scoring on this... Jack, what the heck? 25 fun and zero in everything else? And your only comment is a YouTube link. Oh no, we we already did a series in Mega Maker where we were the YouTube channel that watched other YouTube videos. We're not doing that again. I feel like I'm on a playground for the insane. There are different elements given, but it's clear that the bouncy tiles are the real star of the show, for better or for worse. And there's only so much fun that could be had while in the bounce room from hell. It's weird how there were two paths at all, given the top one had one of the enemies that I'm not even sure was in the bottom. And the bottom one put you in the bounce zone where you don't really get uh, to control Mega Man as much as you hope. As much as you hope he moves in the way you want. They're not that uncontrollable. I do think the spike path we were on was a bit too much. I don't have much to say besides I don't want to do that again. So that certainly happened. Yeah... And we had enemies that, like, just appeared very briefly. I I really don't like the multiple pass thing. I just, I don't do it. Why do I want to go back to your stage when I already found the energy element? There's no tricky tokens to find in this, so... Yeah, uh, and that last room is kind of a nightmare to try and do legitimately. So yeah, I think for now, I'll take my leave. Oh, though one more comment. If he if if you want to do a room like that, that final room at the end, number one, make it smaller. Number two, put a lot more of the those bouncy things so it doesn't have to be like super precise on those. They have like just so many different ones that you can just easily bounce your way up and around and wherever you want to go. Yeah, that's all. <laughs>